Okay, on the last tutorial, uh, we put a timer on there and made our, our sequence automatic after a second and a half. It had just stepped through there. On this tutorial, I think what we can do is we can have a different time base for every step. So what I'm doing is I'm going into my UDT and I'm going to add another member. We're going to call this time array, another database we're building here. It's 20 dents, similar to our output array. You can either type it in or you can use, you can type it down here, you can use little arrows, whatever's comfortable for you. And uh, notice I'm not going to change the style on this. I'm going to keep this at decimal because I want, I'm not looking at the bit level here, I'm looking at the decimal level. I'm going to give it a, a description of time array. I'm going to move it around and move it up here. We're using 196 bytes now. Always important to move things around and keep things in order. Uh, otherwise, in your large programs, you'll end up using a boatload of memory you don't need to. So on my sequencer, I'm just going to put a branch here. And I'm going to put another sequencer. And here's another way of doing it. I just hit Enter on my branch, and then I typed in SQO. I could have brought a sequencer down like that. I could have copied the and pasted. Uh, there's several different ways you'll find to, to do things and how fast depends on what you you know experiment with different different ways so my array this time I'm gonna use my new one my tank one dot time array for my mask it's gonna be the same mask I'll just drag it down my destination now is gonna be different it's gonna be the tank one step timer dot preset so I'll just drag that down and I'll drill down to the preset PRE I'll put that in there I'm going to use the same control. That way we're in step sync, lock sync with uh, our data. And you notice it populates the length and position because we're coming out of the same data type or, or tag, control tag. So we can monitor the time one array now and let's populate the members or the elements with some time. Just a second, two seconds. And remember, timers in, in control logics are all in milliseconds. So 500 is a half a second. 3,000 is three seconds. So we'll put some uh, we'll put some uh, time values in there, and we'll be able to step through here and see now that every sequence has a different time. Step one will last so long. Step two will last so long. So I'm going to save it. Download it once again. Uh, go back to run mode. And you notice the preset value now is, is going off of our sequence control pretty nifty there so now we can have different time base and a different output base so you can see how much more powerful just by adding a little bit of logic our program has become pumps turning on valves are turning on inlet valves detergent valves there you go so that concludes this tutorial on the next one we're gonna do some more